citadel of the Egyptian monuments because it is considered to as an open book for the Egyptian history, which has recorded the Egyptian history and Egypt days during its glory and its weakness. Karnak was called in ancient Egyptian documents about a bit suit. This is after the 11th dynasty. After the 12th, it became Ber Amun. Ber Amun means the house of Amun. And when the king Sinistris or Sinister III has came to Egypt and climbed to its throne, he called it Ebit Sut. Ebit Sut means the most selected among the places for the gods. Karnak name, we have three different opinions about that. Karnak. <laughs> Karnak means Karnak means the defensive castle. This is the Arabic name or Arabic word, and now it's used in Sudan. It hasn't used yet in Egypt. The other one, it's made out its name because of the village that surrounded the temple or where the temple is located, and this is in Karnak. Code. We have another one. Or the Middle East has been the palace and in the ancient or in the ancient nomads and also the modern Greek and English uh, Egyptologists wrote it in their books Karnak because there is some letters written found in English. So it's the Karnak and became Karnak. But this one we treat with a little of care. Also there is a, a new research now that says this has a religious origin. Karen Ek, and this is means the spire of your name. Karen Ek. Okay? This is about the name of the history of the country. This has been uh, constructed for about 2,000 years. Starting from the Middle Kingdom, where we have found the most ancient ones, or the most ancient remaining, until the end of the Great Colonial period and the invasion of the Arabs to Egypt. Although the importance, the political importance for Luxor or for Thebes has been depleted in the later period of Egyptian history and during the Ptolemy, especially with the flourish of the worship of the goddess Isis, as we have said in Phila, but the god Amun still has his own majesty and religious, and he was the state god of the history till the Arabs came. The temple of the Lord starts with. That's what, that's what two of this has been then afterwards, this platform has been done for, by the king, city from the later part of the Lord King's dynasty. The new kingdom period is divided into three dynasties, the Ethes, Monkeys, and Quarters. The Ethes is divided into two parts. The first part is the glory and the divide. And this is began from the king after the first, 1517. 1517 BC, and it's by the king Amnesis or Abbas of the Sir, who has the twin cruelty of Memphis. Okay, the first place which we have listed, and the honor of Lux of Temple that we are going to The second starts from Abbas of the Fourth, or Akhenaten, who converted his name to Akhenaten, and this is called the religious period. Okay, and ended by the king Kamu al -Kham. 19th and the 20s, we call them Rami Sayyid period, and this is because in this two dynasty, there is 11 kings has have taken the name of Ramses. Ramses the first, the first king we have listed today, and Ramses the second or Ramses the Great, were in the 19th dynasty, and from Ramses the third till Ramses the 11th, they were in the 20s. Okay, here we can see. That's what Originally, 